Okay, Mom and Dad, we are learning how to play with the iPhone. Here's Spring. Hi. Hi. And we're going to um, show some basics here. Annabelle. And that's your little girl, huh? No. Yeah, Annabelle, you already know how to do this, but now I have to figure out how to do it. Mm -hmm. so, for, so this is the iPhone 3. No. iPhone, iPhone 4S. S. And so far I've learned that you can turn it on the um, ringer or uh -huh. the silence by this little doohickey on the uh -huh. side. And um, you can turn it on by pushing this thing. Mm -hmm. And slide to unlock, looks like this. Mm -hmm. And going back, you push a little button. Right. Okay, so that's pretty much my knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, what if I don't like the things that are on here? Um, they're all going to basically shift up and left. Um, so you can't like move it down here and say I want that there. You can all move all these other things here. Um, what you want to do is if you'd like this one moved over there, you hold it until they all start to shake. See that? And so you can move it over here. If, however, you put one on top of the other like that, there will be a folder. See that folder there? And then to to get out of the, that, the shake, you can just press the button. And that is like a folder. And they labeled it lifestyle, but you can change that somehow. Can we take it out? Yeah, sure, go ahead. How did you do that? Uh, click into it first and hold it. Don't move it, you, you clicked and moved. There you go. Now drag it out in the bank spot there and let go. There you go. And now that is still a folder. You see that? So if you don't want Annabelle, not right now. No. And so if you want that out of the folder too, you click and drag that out, and then there you go. No. Okay. okay. And what? How do you get them from each page to the other page? Or are they just stuck on the second mm -mm. page? No. See if you want that one over the. That one, mm -hmm. you just kind of have your finger oh. over there. And look, now you're on the third page. And, uh, and so if you want that back over there, just kind of move over there, and there you go. See that? And I like to have, I like to have the camera there. Oh. There, um, because... Uh, well, before they did this, look, if you swipe from the bottom, mm -hmm. these are the things that are most wanted by everybody. The flashlight. So now you got a flashlight. And then this is everything to do with a clock. So it'll basically open up that app right there, the clock app. I was wanting to change the face of the clock. Can you do that? Um, that face? Uh -huh. I don't think that you can change that. Okay. But if you do notice, there is a second hand and it is going around. Mm -hmm. And the clock there is the actual time, okay. which is kind of cool. Um, so for this one you have an alarm, and what's really cool is, <clears throat> Siri? Not connect to the internet. Oh, connect to the internet. Okay, so Siri only works with the internet, so uh, okay. what we're going to do is, hey, we're going to teach you, well, if you want to watch Kai, you go sit on that couch over there. No, right now we're making a video. Say hi to Grandma and Grandpa. Say hi, Grandma and Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa and Grandpa. <laughs> no. Okay, ask Mommy if you can watch Caillou, okay? So if you want to get into the internet, see right there it just says Sprint. Mm -hmm. On my phone you have, um, you have, come on, wake up. I'm going to make it brighter. Uh, see those little three lines up there? That's the Wi-Fi, and your Wi-Fi is either not on or, yeah, see Wi-Fi. So I it's searching. It Ask. Oh. This is mine right there. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna type in my password away from the stalkers. You have to sit over here and watch it. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. It's the little girl <laughs> and the grandma and grandpa. Okay, so there you so are. So always have yep. Wi-Fi on, maybe. Um, you need to know the passwords before you'll be connected to most Wi-Fi. But for things like McDonald's and other things, um, it might actually not connect until you go into Safari, and then I'll be like, hey, would you like to join this network? Say, yes, I do, or yes, these... Is, is Safari the internet? Safari is the internet. Okay. 
but you can download a different form of it. Like I have Chrome because I don't like Safari. Oh. Um, so Chrome, that is the internet for me. Oh. <clears throat> and um, I downloaded Chrome because I just don't like Safari. I don't like the way it thinks. And um, and you can have different have tabs. You, you see you see how there's different oh. tabs here. So I want so there's. Here's how I write in Facebook because I don't have Facebook Messenger. I just use um, Facebook through Chrome. I go to Messages. <clears throat> so, so um, look, you have a couple different pages. I have, I have one, two, three, four, five pages. If you want to go back to home quickly, you just press that button. Oh. That? Okay. So this button can do a whole lot depending on how many times you press it. So if you double click, I have to watch that. you can see all the pay, all the apps oh. that you've just recently opened. So there's Safari and the settings because we were just there. We were just in the clock, and you, we started with you on Messenger. If you think that one of them's not working, like Safari's been buggy, I just don't like it. Do this. Oh. If you do that, it closes those down. Now a lot of people think, oh, look at all these programs I have open. That's, that's hogging all the memory. Actually, it only does about two or three at a time. Because sometimes I'll compose a message in Facebook, and then I need to cut and paste something from some other program. So I'll open that program, and then I need to do math on the calculator. And by the time I've opened up the other program and the calculator, and I go back to Facebook, my original message is lost. So I know that it's not running in the background. But anyway, if you do want to make sure that, like, I don't know, you can actually do two at a time if you want to. Mm -hmm. Two fingers. Yeah, I think that's hard for me now. Okay. But anyway, so there, you don't have anything open now. Okay. So it should be like <clears throat> you've just started your phone, but may, maybe or may, maybe not. So I just double click, and that's what you have open right there. Okay, if you hold it down, set an alarm for 2 o'clock. Okay, so there Thank you go. Thank you, Siri. So you can you could press that to talk again. Mm -hmm. No, I wanted that for two ten. Okay, I set an alarm for two ten p.m. There you go. Nice. So you can keep clicking that, or that can just get out of it by pressing that. This one's always back, but you can also um, make Siri play music, or you can um, do whatever you want to like. Call Forest Fisk Mobile. Just to confirm, you'd like to call Forest Fisk. Yes. Calling Forest Fisk. Hi. And so it'll play here. Or er, it'll call. And I'll put mine on that silent. So you can do this. Hello, Forrest. Hello? 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 Wow. Hey, hello? <laughs> it's doing so, if you don't want to do a call, because now we both have this, if you just press FaceTime, it it's asking me, would you like to FaceTime a spring? Mm. Cancel or accept? Because we're both on Wi-Fi, that's the only way it'll work, um, as if we're both on Wi-Fi. We don't have to be on the same one, obviously. But, uh, yeah, that's yours. So, it's getting a lot of feedback. But I'm looking at you. And I'm going to turn down the volume. So we're not getting feedback. You see that? Okay, now, okay, now, if you want to switch the camera, switch the camera. Mm -hmm. see, over see over here, a little button there. Mm. Now, I just, now I just no, push it, like it like that. So, yeah, so I just click there, and you can swap cameras. And now I'm seeing Dave, and you're seeing Dave over there. Okay? And Charlie's sleeping. And Dave. Okay. And so if you want to mute it, that way, that way, um, <clears throat> other people can't hear you or the background or feedback or whatever. Daddy. There you go. 
Yes? But you're not thinking. Annabelle's watching Caillou over, the, over there. Uh, let's turn it over here a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, so we, we ended the call, right? Okay. So, uh, that was FaceTime, and that app looks like... Where is that? Uh, right there. A little green... Um, that thing. So if you just want to open it, you can do that. And you can call people. You just click it once. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of see a history of the people that you've ever FaceTimed. Okay, or accidentally FaceTime, because sometimes you can accidentally FaceTime. So I'm going to press accept. Sorry, I hung up on you. That's okay. So anyway, that's that. Okay? So I organize mine a little differently. I like to have all the ones that I primarily use, first of all. So I've got my phone there, message there, email, which is not um, whatever email... Like that, I have that mail and Gmail. Mm. That one's my work email. Mm. That one's my personal email. So that's how I distinguish the two. Daddy, no, no, you want to. Mm. And I have the Daddy, camera over there. But it's just no, as easy. No, Are you. Okay, ask mommy. Mommy, can you help her out? Down here, mm -hmm. when you uh, swipe no, up from the very me. bottom, you actually have to get your finger like at the bottom and then scroll up. And you can access the camera from here. And you can take a picture. See and that? if you click this thingy up here, mm -hmm. you can do the a selfie. Mommy, the dark mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It can be all like the cool teenagers on the internet. Mm -hmm. So here's something else I learned. See and what's this thingy? Oh. What? Oh, okay. So you haven't taken any photos yet. Mm -mm. You have to go from off the screen. So this over here. This over here is all the pictures that you have taken. Oh, so you haven't taken any pictures. I have, I have. Five thousand. Uh. Let's see here. I told you you had ten minutes to be out here. I have twenty-one pictures. That's basically what it looks like there. Okay. Cool. So if you want to just go back, I'm double clicking and I'm going to the camera. Okay. What square? Okay. Look. Look. Okay. So. So. You can actually click in the middle of the screen. I always thought you had to do like this, you know, but I would always be worried. So panorama is if you want to take a panoramic of the scenery. So that's where you're going to start. See, you're over at panorama. So you're starting left. You press the button once. You let go and you go like this. Don't put that around your neck like that. That's not safe. And it might say to slow down, basically. And then you click it again. Can you say goodbye? And then that is a picture of the panoramic picture oh, nice. of what you've taken. No. It's automatic. Okay, if you want to get back to camera, what do you do? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm going to press done. Square is if you just want a square picture. You see that? Just the area there. So if you want to get like a profile picture. There you go. Now you have a square picture. Photo, which means, uh, see, like even down here, you're going to get a picture of that. So like, I'm going to get a picture of way down there, the blanket, even though it's kind of not mm -hmm. shown. This is going to be the typical aspect ratio of a picture. Okay. A video has a little red button. Mm -hmm. So always remember to do this, otherwise your video is going to be kind of funky looking. Uh... So you want to hold it like this. And even though the video part's crooked over here, you're going to take a video. So just hit it once and you're taking a video. Bye. You don't have to hold it down or anything. Hi. <laughs> and then um, press it again to stop. Time lapse is, uh, is a new feature, which basically means um, it is going to be a time lapse. So this video that might be three minutes long is going to be less than three seconds um, by taking a picture. And so hmm. press it again. If you want to review it, it's going to be really quick. So you press play, and that, that was the video pretty ridiculous. But it's good if you want to get the clouds or if you want to get a driving scene, like you're driving somewhere. Oh, it's backwards. And when you hold it, um, it's backwards only because from the camera's view, you are on the left-hand side. Oh. And you're on the left-hand side here. When you're actually taking the video, um, 
um, when you're actually taking a selfie like this, mm -hmm. we're looking at a mirrored image. So if you had text, oh. if you had text, see how spray bottle mm -hmm. is not spray bottle, it's backwards. Mm. So when you're actually watching the video, it switches that around. So you can figure out how to orient it here. Mm -hmm. um, but when it's an actual video, it's going to look right where you're on the left. Mm. So mm. that's what it's going to do. Are you guys still following over there in grandparent land? Okay. Then I want to get out of here so I go. Yeah, oh, what's this little thing on the top? Oh. That's a timer. Like timer. if you want to do a self timer. You s it would set it on the shelf. Um, Off three seconds. Yeah, three so seconds. like I want to I wanna take a picture, a uh, three second picture. So you do this, and then you run, and then you're, the picture was taken. Okay. And I want to get out here so I go. Dink. What's also really cool about this is, um, um, off. Okay, look, if you plug this in here, your, your earbuds, mm -hmm. the earbuds that come with the play feature on on the earbuds, which mom and dad you will have. If you hold it here, I mean this, this little button right here, it is a camera, so. Oh. You should. They, uh, it didn't work. That was weird. I was told it would work. Cheese? It's doing something. It's not taking a picture. supposed to take a picture. They promised me it would take a picture. Maybe there's just something else we're doing weird. Huh. Well, this one says ah. Oh, uh, that's a flash. Did you know your, um, your camera has a flash? I hate flash, by the way. Yeah, flash but is not But if you good. if you take that and you press on, it will take a picture. Force just flash me. Oh, and the and if you have your timer on, it'll do a countdown for you. Okay, so I hate flash, so I I just leave that as off or auto, but even the audio auto is annoying. So get back in the camera. No, all you have to oh, I'm gonna put it down, move it down there. Good, look at you. And to make them stop wiggling, you push the little button at the bottom. thingy in the bottom. Yeah, we can pull it down here. Okay, and then okay. moving into camera. Okay. So camera and the HDR is HDR is kind of different. Um, a typical picture doesn't have um, lights and darks figured out very well. HDR is supposed to get your darks dark and your lights light. Mm. It actually takes three different pictures and kind of does a, a compilation of them to get the best darks and lights. Oh, so like so when that's, it's on yellow, it's it's on? Yeah, when it's on yellow. So like that, I would use HDR for like a sunset or something where there's a mm. lot of contrast between bright and darks. Like... That scene there or is the gonna have or the tree. like, like with the outside and the inside. Oh, yeah. HDR takes a better picture. Um, see, um, or a typical picture would not get the outside and the inside. You see that? Mm -hmm. But I got both the outside image and the inside image. Mm -hmm. So HDR is good with a high contrast. Okay. What's this little thing down here? Um, that is filters. So, oh yeah. If you want to have um, like a black noir. and white noir, or um, instant like a panorama uh, uh, Polaroid image. Oh, what about transfer? transfer? Um, it's kind of like a brighter, like hmm. greener greens and. Just, oh, look at that! <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see what it does there. I don't really love filters because you can always do filters later. Hmm. And what's really interesting about um, this is when you go to pull them off of the camera, mm -hmm. they store two pictures. The original picture that you took and anything that you've done to edit the picture. So if you edit it, uh. it will save two pictures. So go into edit. Let's say I want to crop this one. Okay, look. If you press edit, if you, if you want to crop it and all you want is the tissue box, you can do that by kind of going in and moving it in like that. And your picture will now just be the tissue box. You can also rotate it like that. Wow. Because sometimes, you know, your pictures aren't straight. So I'm going to make sure it's straight by the windowsill's straightness here. And that's about right. And if you press done, 
it will save that as your main picture. So there's a picture of Dave and Spring and the tissue box. Hmm. <clears throat> With the cameras that, um, the favorite means like when you, if you've taken a lot of pictures mm -hmm. um, and you just want to see your favorites, like the ones that you really like, hundreds of pictures, but you like four really well. They're on here somewhere, I just don't know. Oh. Sorry. There's like a favorite Dirty album. Damage. There's a favorite album somewhere on here. It'll save it by what's all in your camera roll, all videos, all time lapses, recently deleted. So, so it kind of stores it for you, okay? And you don't need to delete too much. It'll let you know when you're kind of getting full. Okay. What does this thing do? What? Oh, that's send it to somebody. Oh! So if you like a picture, let's say here, I love this one of spring. It's just so I know good amazing. of her. I'm going to press this little box with an arrow. And I want to go, I want that one and maybe the tissue box. Because when I see spring, I cry. <laughs> okay. So um, uh, what we're going to do is... Um, yeah, we're going to send that video and then you press next. It's going to ask you, how do you want that sent? In a message? In your mail? Which, by the way, is only the, the mail that you've set up in that account. Do you want to put it on Facebook or Flickr or something else? Mm. You can also copy it or do a slideshow, print it if you're attached to a printer. But basically, um, I just mail or message it. Mm -hmm. Just grab the little thing. Mm -hmm. So you're sending it to my phone because... You see how that's my name with the phone number? Um. If it has my name with an email address, you'll send it to my email address. So it'll, just, it'll always show you um, how you're sending it. I just sent you a video. Mm -hmm. If, for instance, I want to send it in my email and my Gmail and not through my work email account, I just go into Gmail and then I um, type in a new email address and hit the attach button. About the only thing I can attach in the email is pictures. Okay. So with Gmail, uh, it's really hard to see the screen on there. And remember when you have it on video, you always want to take it that way. Mm -hmm. Not like this because it will look skinny. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to send Spring an uh, email to her Gmail account and I'm going to attach a picture, attach it from a photo and, um, and you'll find it in camera roll. So there's a beautiful picture of Spring right there and I want to use that and I'll title my email here and then done and then send. And I've just sent my sister an email. Okay. Oh, and you can make it smaller by doing... Uh oh, spring is not in the video. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, so, yeah, that's great. What's... Oh, and you can revert. Oh, what's that? Those are different settings, like, for me, I, f I feel like this is kind of washed out, mm -hmm. so if you want to kind of pop the colors, you can pop the colors a, a little bit by going that way, mm. make them more blue, or that's really intense. And then you can also, like, I like to adjust the uh, contrast by making the contrast a little bit more intense, mm. less intense. So then I, whatever you want to do, and then done, and it'll save it like that. And then I had a... Oh, what is That's, uh, the, whatever the computer thinks is a, the best setting for that picture. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it'll make your brights a little... It'll make things pop a little bit. So for this picture, if I did that, um, editing, it'll probably, um, make your skin a little bit more skin tone and not, like, ghostly or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it makes sort of. the darks a little bit darker mm. instead of gray. So there we go. Okay. 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 How do I make this better?
background a funny picture. Okay, so go in your pic. Uh, uh, actually, go into your settings. Settings up there, and then um, it'll be your display, display and brightness. Mhm. Mm uh, never mind. I have to figure out what it is. Wallpaper. There it is. Settings. Settings. Go back. Wallpaper. So which one do you want? You see there's two different screens. There's the lock screen, so when you turn it on mm -hmm. and it's locked, oh, you can, that. it'll show that picture. And then when you turn it on, it goes this way. Mm -hmm. So that's the one that you want to set. So if that's the one that you want to set, um, uh, choose a new wallpaper. Ooh. So those are all the things that you can get from Apple. So sometimes um, getting back on a program is different than back on, on the thing. So like I want to stay in the setting, but I want to go back. That makes sense. So the back is up there instead of on the bottom. Mm. So there's only two pictures. I guess there's only two pictures. That's kind of dumb. Okay, so I would need to go to the internet and save something. No. You can also... Whoa, look at there. There's a whole bunch there. But you can choose from your camera roll. Mm. Like, that one's a great <laughs> one that you want to have on your lock screen <laughs> right there. And I want to set that. And for your lock screen and your home screen are both. I just did it for both. That's scary. So now when you <laughs> turn on your phone, there you go. That's amazing. Oh, hey, it's there's time the... to wake up. So I guess I didn't elite. So I you're snoozing. Too. Yeah, I did two different alarms. And you actually press snooze. It's okay. If you want to figure out how to turn off your clock, mm -hmm. let's go let's, uh, flip up. And then... So go to your clock and your alarm, and I just turn off your alarms like that. Mm. You can also flick it like like that or that. And if you want to take off the alarm completely, go go to edit, edit, delete, delete, and they're gone. But I like to keep them just because then I have more options to choose from. What if I want to message somebody? Yep. Mm -hmm. I push on the message thing. Mm -hmm. How do I know where to, to message a certain person? How how to how to do like it? Like if I want to send a text to you, Dave. Okay, so if you want to send a message to Dave, you could either click on Dave because you just talked with him, or you just write a new one. And just type in Dave. Isn't, is there like a favorites one? Like, like on my other phone, you can push like number two mm -hmm. and then talk to him like specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you, if you just want to, um, if, if you want to set up your favorites, your favorites are like this. You go into phone. Oh, it's a dumb, just, maybe it's too bright. Let's turn down the brightness. So I'm going to turn down the brightness of Spring's phone. There, now it'll probably read a lot better. So your favorites are over here. And so favorites, see that? You don't have any favorites. So if you want to add Dave, just type in D for Dave. Dave Clark. So do you want it to um, FaceTime him when you press Dave? Uh, FaceTime call or or mobile, mobile like calling mobile. Okay, so there's Dave mobile. So that will probably call him when you press that. Yeah, it is calling. There's another setting where. Um, so let me get back to that. Okay, so I want to email. I mean, I want to text Dave. So I push this and then. No, wait a second. How do I find favorites again? It's in phone. Oh, I want to see, but you can also um, add a add a thing like for Dave. For um, I thought it was just for texting. Um, 
Maybe not. Let me see here. It's been a while since I figured this out. So, mm. I haven't figured out any anything for texting quickly except for the last one that you did. Because with the favorite, your favorites, they're just gonna be right there. So I'm gonna do phone favorites. I have one favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, recents. That's the people I've talked to recently. Recently called. Contacts. Okay. So I have like savory addi addictions, gourmet nuts. I don't I have no idea why this is on my phone. Mm -hmm. How do I um, delete it? Edit. And so you scroll down to the clear at the bottom. Delete contacts. Um, you want to delete it? Yes. So I can't do anything really fast, like. If I have like 500 thingies. Uh, let me see. It. Is there anything swiping? No. Just one by one. No. I have all these because I had um, Amanda's old phone. Oh, yeah? Mm. And when you get your new cell phones, mom and dad, make sure that, well, at least dad needs to go and get his. Favorites um, saved on. See, I just got an email. A text. A text. And so I would push on that if I wanted to talk to her. Mm -hmm. um, Dad needs his, his contacts all moved to his new phone. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they would put the contacts on mom's phone too. Probably. The same contacts? You yeah. definitely could. So then you wouldn't have to save all your your numbers again. Mm -hmm. What if I meet somebody and I was like, hey, I like you. I want your phone number. How do you um, do that? Mm -hmm. You can um, go into your contacts, which looks like this little guy here. So I click on him and uh, that plus button right there. That's out of your contact. And you'd start with his first name, last name, um, and then add a phone number, add an email address, or whatever you want to do. Can you um, send it from phone to phone? Yeah, you can. It's really... Sorry. So, like, um, if I wanted to text on Spring's phone, if I wanted Dave's contact information, so I'd write a text, like, to... Uh, see, how do I do that? Oh, this is your phone. You'd be talking to yourself. Um, let's see here. I think, let's see here, if you're in contacts and you're under the person that you want to send, um, let's see, I want to send my friend Jason's number to Forrest. Then I say share contact. Oh. In a message or in a text or in an email? Message. Yeah. So you could now send that contact information, which is in that blue. Two, You'd send it to, uh, type it up here. Yeah. Sorry, I got you out of it. Yeah. What if my... So then you just press send, and then I would get that contact here. What if my fingers are moving, and I... Oops. What if my fingers are meaty, and I wanted to email Dave, but um, these are so tiny. Can you make them bigger? Um, no, you can't make them bigger. The only way you can make them bigger is if you tilt it sideways like that. Then oh. you have a little bit, you know, it's a lot wider. Oh. And it guesses what you might be saying? Yeah, it's really helpful, the guessing feature. Um, now I want to show you something, too. There's two ways to turn on the screen. Um, oh my goodness, Dave, you're so noisy. Hey, Dave. Shush. Look, there's two ways you can turn on the screen. There's one from the bottom or from the top, okay? Oh. So, like, well, the only way to turn it off is from up here. But you can turn it on through either way. Um. See this? I just got a text from Spring. What's cool is you can actually swipe that over, and it'll open what you've just swiped. Oh. So I just got a text from Spring, and I just got Jason Bridges' contact information. So I can add that... To, to my contact information there. Okay? And you just press that. Okay. Now, 
Let's say I want to be cool mm -hmm. and I want to download some apps. Mm -hmm. So, do I go to the App, app Store? store? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll put it on the App Store. Mm -hmm. Now, I had a problem with this last night because I think. Um, oh, it just came up for me. But I think it, it's going to ask to. Um, have you save a username and password? Mm -hmm. To create a username and password. And the password is insanely difficult because it has, you have to have at least seven long, it has to have a capital letter, it has to have a number, a number and it has to have a lowercase number or something like that. A lowercase. So letter. it's, you have to get that to, uh, figured out first and then set it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think for mom and dad, you probably don't have one yet? Well, Dad probably has a password, but Mom probably doesn't. Mm -hmm. okay. It's just like a, an Apple account. Just like with Google, how you can have one password for your email, calendar, whatever. Um, Apple has one account for everything, so memorize that account, and then you can get whatever you want to. You just have to download it. Now, okay, so I want Ant Smasher. Where mm. would I go? So if you want Ant Smasher, I'd go under Search the bottom. Mm -hmm. Click up here. It'll pull up your keyboard. Just type in Ant Smasher. It's probably one of the top listed up here. There it is. <clears throat> now if it costs anything it'll say 99 cents or or five bucks or however much it is. If not it just says get or free and you type it. And you push install. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be, and I think it It'll sends you an you. email. It'll send you it an email. It says, you've purchased an app, but it's purchased for zero. So. Okay, sign into iTunes Store. And it's asking you your, your password. Which is, like, really, really hard. Let's not look at that world if we're looking at the world. Can you, like, keep on being um, signed in? Um, every time you purchase something, mm -hmm. um, it'll sign you out every seven minutes, just or something like that, just so um. you're not like your child's not like purchasing a, uh, an app for you. Um, now this is gonna be show. Oh, it's, yeah. it's gonna show in front of there. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, so I want to. Okay, I like his ant smasher, mm -hmm. but I want to see there's, I want to um, get to something, like, just a cool one. Like, do they have a favorite spot? Yeah, they do. Um, trending searches, so this is what everybody's looking for. If you want to just uh, explore. Oh, let's see here. This is going to ask you what your location is, so you can also do top charts. This is like their store, you know, you, this is the store. So this is what people have buying. by buying. So that's paid ones. You can look for free ones. Free. Mm -hmm. So people really Dumb like... Dumb ways to die. I've done that. Uh -oh. That's weird. Okay. Top charts. Top charts. There we go. Free. Dumb ways to die. That one's pretty good. Install. Um, Facebook's Messenger. Nobody likes that. You... Yeah, it's, it's, um, some people like it. It's the only way that you can message people from uh, from your Facebook. I mean, so Facebook Messenger, everybody's afraid of it because, like, it gives NSA permission to check through all your Facebook activity or whatever. And Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. I want to get Instagram because I want to be cool. Daddy. Install. Hi. Um, my not in here. Uh oh. Um, mom, do you, I mean, do you have any time to help out? Um, There's a Snapchat, Pandora Radio. Oh, I like Pandora. Good. Snapchat is what people do sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, YouTube. Oh, you don't have YouTube yet? Totally download oh. YouTube. No, I want to get okay install. Uh, uh, Pinterest is on here somewhere too, right? Mm -hmm. If it doesn't come up right away... Google Maps. You want Google Maps. Oh, I already got that for some reason. Okay. And then... There's Pinterest right there. Pinterest. Get. Install. It takes a while to download, right? Um, yeah, and you can see the progress by um, 
and you can get right back there. Um, so that's um, the progress right there. They're kind of like clocks. Once it's all done, they'll say installing, and that's where they are. And remember, you can move these. So their Ant Smasher is already ready to go. How do I change <clears> to um, Gmail? I mean, Google. Oh, um, well, you didn't have that installed yet, did you? Mm -mm. So let's get back into the App Store. There you go. And you might want to find my iPhone. Oh, yeah, find, find my iPhone. This is really important. Actually, that's more important for you to install on your computer. So when your phone is lost, you can go to your computer, press call my phone, and it'll do it. But it's okay, too. Netflix! Yeah. But I have to pay for that. Um, okay, oh, and there's one that I think would be really cool is the lighter. So... Unable to download app. Instagram could not be downloaded at this time. Okay. So let's look for uh, Chrome. C H R. Oh, you wanted Chrome or did you want Gmail? Oh, Google. Google's Google. Google has like ten different programs. Chrome's fine, I guess. Uh, you want a Gmail or Chrome? Chrome. Chrome is another way to do the internet. So go yeah. ahead and do that. Yeah. So you can get that. Install. Mm -hmm. and, and if you then, want Gmail, you can type in Gmail up oh. at the top. Okay, so back up. G. Mail. There it is. Oops. That was weird. G. Mail. Hi. Oh, you need to go to sleep. You should be taking a nap. You need to take a nap. Get install. Go talk to mommy. Okay. There and then go. okay, then, um search. Mm -hmm. And you can read all about the, the app if you don't wanna like purchase it yet or whatever. You can click in here or click on there. And look at look at what the program looks like, because that's what it's going to look like on your screens. Or you can look, read the reviews. Uh, if everybody likes Gmail. It's like a five and four star thing, but with a Facebook Messenger, it's like all twos and ones and threes um, and stuff. Now I wanna one more thing I wanna because mm -hmm. everybody likes apps. Apps are awesome. Mm -hmm. So I want to find. Um, Light, um, lighter. Lighter. So just type in L I G H T E R. There's probably three different types of lighters. Ooh. So you can look at that one, or that one, or that one. And some of them have like different types of lighters. So you just have to like find one that you like, find one with good reviews. He's sleeping. No, he's not funny. His noise is funny? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's snoring. Why? He's sleeping like you should be sleeping. Ha 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 Cool. Back up. Oh yeah, and you might have to set up your e Gmail. Your, I mean, your mail account. Your mail, because when you push on mail, it's going to be like, well, what kind of mail do you want? And um, it says there's there's two when I tried to get Pinterest, um, it said oh this we have to um, verify your payment information. Well, it's a free item, so I just said okay. no credit card and uh, continue, and it would it it downloaded it just fine. Yeah. So it may just be confused. Siri, are you confused? Who? Me? <laughs> okay, and I want to get out of here. Oh, I want to double click. And I want to get out of that. I want to get, I don't know. I want to get rid of some things. Just because I don't want to look at their little faces anymore.
So now I have my lighter. Mm -hmm. If it's all downloaded. Oh yeah, that that question right there was valid. It says, "Do you want push notifications?" Do you know what push notifications are? Mm -hmm. See these little red flag thingies. Sometimes they can be really annoying. Like for me, yes, I know I have 295 emails. No, I don't necessarily want to be bugged by it every time. So some of these games, like like this game here, oh, uh, has like a new will say, hey, would you like you know, to play with your friend? He just sent a game, and sometimes I'm just like, no. Quit telling me stuff. Because like, every time I see a flag on Facebook, this little number two... Oh, I'm not showing anything. Um, let's zoom out a little bit here. Oh, no. sorry. So sometimes it'll it'll be um, like there there'll be a two on Facebook. That means two friends have done something with me. And uh. if I press two, if I press Facebook, and I look down here on my notifications, um, it'll say basically two friends have commented or shared something. <laughs> For you, and that's what this great stuff hmm. is there. Now I'm trying to make this work. Now the free ones work, so that um, when oh there we go. <laughs> and look when you tilt it sideways. Oh, that's cute. Can't you like? Well, it depends on the app. Oh, now um. Now, some of the free ones work is they always have an advertisement on the bottom. Uh -huh. So, like, if you're okay with seeing advertisements, then then you have it free. But I think if you buy an app, then it's they usually you don't ad have free. the ads. Close up my little thingy. Maybe just tap it. It depends on what kind of app that you get. I mean, since there's like seven different lighter apps, mm, you I probably like didn't that. get the one that shook it or you could change your setting in it or whatever. And Smasher is fun because you get to just, um... Advertisement. Oh. Uh, uh, since... Some of these are games. Mm -hmm. Apple has its own game center, so like you can talk to other gamers or like have competitions between your friends or whatever. So it might ask you to set up a, a game account with a username so they don't know who you are. Mm. You know, so you can set one up or possibly skip it, I don't know. I think you have to set one up. So you might be able to cancel. And Smasher does not need to know your location. Yeah. So when it ever says, do, th do they want to know your location? No. Just, like, unless it's Facebook or something, they try to or, steal like, your, your, your maps, you don't need to no, let them know your, info your location. So see if you can scan that. Yeah. Oh. And then you squish them, squish them, squish them, squish them, squish them. This is the one that the, um, um, the, the, the little, um, ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 the frog was playing, and he couldn't eat the bugs. He was trying. And if you push the bees, you'll die. Ouch, I died. See, so it's Brent minus one. Okay. Um, and, and Mom will be doing Pinterest. So I just downloaded Pinterest. Let's see, it probably doesn't know who I am yet. You know, you can link a lot of these games and apps with with Facebook. So, like, basically they'll share information. I don't really want to post to Facebook every time I you like You don't something. have to post to Facebook. So, um, for you, Spring, if you don't want to post to Facebook, there's a setting in Pinterest that says, you know, basically link my account to Facebook, but I don't want to share it. And that's what I've done with Pinterest. Kitty, you're going to knock down my camera. <laughs> Let's get down, please. So that's what I've done. So you just basically get your username and password info there. 
Another thing that you can do also is if you want more contacts on your phone, mm -hmm. you can actually, um, in settings, um, you can go to Facebook and you can link your Facebook with your contacts. Uh, so if people have given their address or their phone number on Facebook, you now have their their information on your phone whenever you're logged into Facebook, which is kind of cool. So now you have a lot more contacts. Um, it's not always necessary because not everybody does that. So, but that's an option that you can do. I may have put in the wrong password, but. Um. Notifications for Pinterest would basically mean do you want to know if somebody's liked something of yours or you want to follow some people? So, is that your Pinterest? No. Maybe. It has cute animals. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. Y'all, cute animals! <laughs> okay, so I have that taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, mm, you might want the Bible app. Bible app. I have read by I have I have all sorts of things here. I have Google Plus, YouTube, Twitter, Hangouts, Skype, LinkedIn, Google Drive, Google Docs, um, Run Register something, Run Keeper to monitor my activity, Bible app, This American Life. Overdrive, NPR News, Netflix pod, podcasts. I like that one a lot. Um, Pandora, Kindle, CBS, Redbox, the library app, and all sort all these sorts of games. Is that the one that you have? Yeah, that's the most popular one. There's over a million Yay. users. So like when the posture says turn to your Bibles too, when people are like, mm -hmm. I'm on my phone. Mm -hmm. And I like to organize my apps, especially the ones I never use. I actually have a file called Never Used. And so I just, there's there. And there's an app also called Tips. Might be helpful for you to read. Mm -hmm. It just shows you how to use your phone a little bit better. I don't know. It's like a light bulb. Uh, sorry, it's in there somewhere. Okay. I, um... I have one question before we end. Um, no, Charlie. Charlie can go outside if he wants to. Bye. Bye-bye. So what was your okay, question? I want to find a minion picture. Okay. Oh, that's cool. You can, it's just telling you what you can do with this program. Oh. Sometimes when you get a new app, it tells you all of its features. So you can set that up later, or you can do it now. So type in... You, you never really hold it down unless oh. you want to, like... Actually, see that? Paste? Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, let's see here, I have... I have a message from you, see this? If I want to like copy that, you hold it down, you let it go, you can press copy or do oh. more, see that? And so like, the more would be like, I want to delete that line, that's so annoying, delete. Or um, if I wanted to copy that, I can do that, and then when I want to paste, I just hold my finger down and let go, and there are other options there. So if you want to search by image, it's, um, go over there to images. So now you're looking at pictures there. These are the ones that I put on your phone earlier. So what you can do is you can hold it down and you can do save image and that'll go to your camera roll. Okay. Mm. And it's asking if it can access your photos because you wanted to put it in your photos. It says, can I access them? So yes. So now if you go to your pictures, I don't know where you keep them, photos here. It's going to be the first one in your camera roll here. That's and where it is. How do I save this? 
to my um camera. No, I just press send, but um use this wallpaper right there. Hmm. And you can zoom out or zoom in or whatever you want to do. Uh -huh. Might not let you since it has black on the top and bottom. Uh -huh. So you might have to find a different picture or that one. So which one do you want to do it? Set it as both or set it as the lock screen or what? Hmm? See, so oh. asking you what do you want to set it as, the lock screen, home screen, or both? Sweet. Yeah, it can't save it like that. It needs to have take up the whole screen. Okay. And one other thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to message Dave and my and I want to send him some texts, and I, I want to send him some cute emoticons. Mm -hmm. So I push. Oh, okay. So this is I pushed. I pushed a smiley face. Mm -hmm. So let's go back. Okay. So I went to messages. I I was like you you talk to Dave blah blah blah. But then you push on the smiley face. Hey, Davy. <laughs> Okay, and now you can, um, there's all these emoticons that you can pick and put all over the, the message. And, um, there's, there's, like, seasons. And if you go like this, you can go to different, um, pages of emoticons. And lots and lots of flowers. And here's some, some buildings. And then you can send him to Dave and he'd be like, why did you just send this to me? Why does it have a, a green background? Oh, if you take a look, um, you'll see that green background means it's a text. Okay. Okay, so on the right hand side, that's you speaking. Left is him talking to you. So like with me, um, it's blue because blue means it's apple to apple. Oh. That means it's an I message, um, but uh, it, since Dave doesn't have an iPhone, it's a text message, meaning that this might cost you something, but it won't. Um, but I messages through the internet, so as oh. long as you have Wi-Fi, it's technically free. If you you know. But we have unlimited. Yeah, data, we have unlimited so. everything, so it's not gonna be a problem. The blue dot means you haven't read it yet. See that? Sweet. Thank you, Bushkin. Welcome. Hope that helps out. So, um, we're in parents. I hope that you found that educational. I'm sorry that some of it was too brighted out so you couldn't see. But anyway, uh, I love you. I love you and hope you enjoy your new phones. Hi, Spring. Bye. We love you.